Here in Michigan, one in 11 children will experience the death of a parent or a sibling by the time they turn 18. That's according to Judy's house. And joining Mid Michigan Matters today is Christine Cooner with Ali's Place. And Christine, following the Thanksgiving holiday, everyone sees their loved ones. And I want to say maybe not everyone sees their loved ones. How can people help children who are going through grief? How, what does that affect on children? You know, grief is the great equalizer and there's no algorithm. So every child is affected differently. And I think the most important part is to be present with the child, to watch their cues, listen to their words, and realize you can't fix it, but you can sit there and be with them. And you just mentioned that children can have different reactions or how they cope with these things. What are some of those mechanisms to cope with grief? The healthy or unhealthy are we talking about? Let's do both. Okay, so unhealthy, you know, if we don't talk about it and we don't help them, you see depression, anxiety, sleep troubles, um, using unhealthy measures, drugs, alcohol, um, to numb everything instead of dealing with it. You know, healthy is sitting with the person. Of course, Ellie's Place, our peer-to-peer -peer grief support, um, talking about it. Let's not pretend that the person is, isn't there. The child, everyone who's experienced the death of someone is feeling it every day. And so you mentioned that parents, loved ones, even Ellie's Place has resources to listen and really hear what the child is going through. So you have a little thing in your hand that says flip the script. And what are those ways that you can communicate with a child and not put them down? You know, and I love the, the, the campaign they have. There's a couple ones. Um, you don't say, I'm sorry someone died by suicide or, or committed suicide. They died by suicide. That changes. To a child, you don't say, I'm sorry you lost your dad, because if they're young, they're going to try and find them, because that's what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this one, you need to be strong. No. You know, a, a way to flip the script, you might feel like you need to be strong, but you don't have to be that with me. Or I'm sorry for your loss, another way. I know there are no words to make it better. Just know that I'm here, and I can support you however I can. Right, so it's really, finding ways to best communicate with a child and you have to be careful with the words that you use. Rem yes, because children, like a little, if you say lost, they mean found. And we use very concrete words. You experience the death of somebody. Christine, is there any further resources people can go if they are experiencing grief? You know, you can always call, call Ellie's Place at 482-1315. You know, even if you don't necessarily have a child, but you're having troubles with grief, we have resources. So not only do we serve the community and our peer-to-peer -peer support with the children and adults, but also if you need help, um, we have the resources for you. All right. Well, Christine, thank you for joining Mid-Michigan Matters today. And